Ever since the development of stealth technology for aircraft, many different systems have been advertised as stealth killing. One of the more innovative solutions is the Russian Strana 1, barrier EB static radar system developed by a division of the Ormaz anti-joint stock company. Ormaz anti is the premier rare defense and radar manufacturer in Russia, they made the Tor, Vuk and S-400 anti-aircraft systems, as well as their respective search radars. The Strana 1 was originally developed in 1999. A further evolution of Strana 1, the Barrier E system was later showcased for export at MiGs 2007. It was shown alongside other radars at MiGs 2017. The system is rumored to be deployed around Moscow. The Strana 1 is different than most radars in that it is a B-static radar, meaning it relies on the receiver and transmitter of the radar to be in two different locations as opposed to conventional radar technology where the receiver and transmitter are located in the same location. The Strana 1 solves this problem by positioning the transmitter in a different location than the receiver. The link between the transmitter and receiver has increased power relative to a conventional radar, as it falls off according to the inverse square law as opposed to the inverse fourth power law. This allows the radar to be more sensitive, as it is effectively acting as a radar trip wire. This setup increases the effective radar cross-section RCS, of a target by nearly threefold, and ignores any anti-radar coatings that can scatter the radio waves. This allows the detection of not only stealth aircraft, but other objects with low RCS such as hang gliders and cruise missiles. The maximum span between two single towers is 50 km. This leads to a maximum theoretical perimeter of 500 km. These individual towers have relatively low power consumption, and they do not emit as much energy as traditional radars, making them less vulnerable to anti-radiation weapons. The towers are mobile, allowing for forward deployment in times of conflict. They rely on microwave data links to communicate with each other and a centralized monitoring station, which can be located at a significant distance from the system. The distributed nature also allows the system to keep operating if one node goes down, albeit with less precision. The low height of the transmitter and receiver towers, only 25 meters off the ground, makes Strana 1 very good at detecting low altitude targets, a target set that conventional radars often have trouble with. The Strana 1B static radar is not a be all and all detection solution for stealth aircraft, it could pose a significant threat to stealth NATO aircraft in a future conflict. Strike aircraft with stealth features are particularly vulnerable. The strike role tends to favor flight profiles that might cause aircraft to fly into the Strana 1S detection range. In tandem with other modern stealth defeating radar systems, the Strana 1 could provide critical information to an adversary on the position and movement of stealth aircraft.